Hello everyone. This week we are going to be learning about security testing. So the outline for this week, uh, first we're going to start with um, learning a bit about security testing. Um, there are various types of security testing. We are going to be learning four of them, which is dynamic application security testing or DAST, static application security testing or SAST, interactive application security testing or IAS, and then lastly, penetration testing or pen test. And then we're going to be learning, um, looking at um, a couple of tools just to know where they, uh, what they are. And then we're going to um, learn some of the security testing guide and framework. And um, we're going to be uh, doing some lab as well. We're going to be um, doing some pen test using um, a tool called Zap. Um, it's a tool um, developed by um, community at OWAPS. So first, let's look at the various types of security testing. There are um, uh, uh, many types. Um, I picked like four well-known or popular security testing. Um, so uh, DAS, SAS, IAS, and pen test. So let's take a look at the first one, DAS a dynamic application security testing. So this is a black box testing method that examine an application as it's running. So that's why it's called static um, uh, static testing because um, we have to run um, the software or application and then we do testing um, while we run by um, testing various security related scenarios like um, test um, logging in by using various um, username and password. See if you can log in with correct username and cannot log in with incorrect username, you know, um, and then see the role base, code base and stuff like that. Um, that that's one, uh, one um, uh, way to do like that. Um, another way uh, that we can do that is to um, five vulnerability or risk using some tools um, that help like scanning um, application to see if there there are any um, weakness in our software. But usually, when you use um, dynamic application security testing, it only um, access or, or examine the exterior of the application, not the source code, because it's a black box method, uh, and um, usually we uh, we will have some tools to help um, um, us do like the um, DAS and usually DAS should be performed um, on an application that uh, runs in an environment that's similar to um, the production so let's take a look at SAS SAS is um, it's more like a code review uh, so we do like code review or code analysis to find um, security flaws or weakness such as SQL injection or any others that, that we learn um, um, in like the, the threat model or um, like OWAP's top 10. Uh, usually when we do SAS, it's very difficult to do like um, code review um, manually there are a lot of SAS tools that help uh, us to detect suspicious code automatically. And um, it usually um, run, so you have to supply the source code um, to the program and then it will analyze the source code and then um, tell us whether there are um, um, security vulnerability or not. But usually when you use like SAS tools, it may generate too many false positives. So what you should do is that you should perform tasks early um, and often um, since we start coding. So once we start coding and we do um, um, SAS tools, it is going to generate like false positive, but it may be like a small amount, maybe like like 10 or, or, or like 8 to 10. So you can go through and then uh, and then you can pick out the one that is important. Um, but if you do um, use SAS tool to um, do code analysis at the end of the application phase, 
you might get like hundreds of um, warnings and it's so difficult to go through all of them. So it's best to do it early, often, uh, while since you start coding so that you don't um, overwhelm with the foul positive. So DAS and SAS um, complement each other because it finds different types of vulnerabilities. Um, usually when um, you do um, DAS, uh, it's runtime, right? So you, if you do source code, you might not be able to find. For example, just very, very simple. Now pointer exception in Java is, is you, you can't really do it using static, a uh, simple static analysis. Uh, but, but you will see it um, during runtime, right? So um, that's why it, it complement each other. So you need to do like different, um, both um, DAS and SAS so that um, you can have like comp comprehensive testing. And usually when you do, you can start SAS early in the um, software development life cycle. Um, and, and that's um, usually done like during the development. Uh, uh, let's take a look at the differences on this um, website. Um, the Synopsis is um, a security company. It provides like security service for um, software company in, in the United States. Uh, it has some um, interesting um, graphic that help you understand um, um, both um, SAS and, and DAS. So DAS is black box testing. Um, SAS is not exactly testing, it's more like a code review. And um, it said um, white box because you can, you like the tester um, need to know the code. But for DAS, you don't really need to know the code. You just you need to know the security requirement. You can test and follow the security requirement to test. And usually, um, SAS requires source code, but um, DAS requires running application. Right? Um, you find uh, vulnerability earlier with SAS, but DAS, you're going to see it at the end of SDLC. And um, because you, you find um, vulnerability early, SAS would be less expensive to fix bugs um, but um, if you use DAS, it can be more expensive because you have already um, uh, almost finished the development. But um, a SAS, you cannot discover runtime and environment related issues, like, like I said, like now project exception. Um, but um, for um, SAS, it, it, it has some um, other um, um benefit like um you can see the bug right away right you see something wrong with the code you can fix it right away and um usually uh there are a lot of tools that does like um analysis we will see that um and usually it support all, all type of software not just web application but for um dash usually um, there is some tools to help scan the, the, the weakness. It usually run on um, some type of application like web application. So this is like, the differences between like um, um, SAS and DAS. Another type is called interactive application security testing. It combines SAS and DAS approach together. So um, it um, works um, dynamically, meaning you, the program has to be running in order to do testing. So it's going to be like that. So it's dynamically, you know, identify issues during runtime. Um, but the tools, the IS tool run inside the application so it can analyze code um, as well. So you um, combine the best benefit of SAS and DAS into IS. Usually, you would integrate the interactive um, testing into um, CI/CD pipeline. So you do like in um, the the security testing um, when you develop and integrate and and, and um, deliver your software. Um, there are some differences between DAS, SAS, and IaaS. This is from um, an article from IBM. Um, it actually um, explained about IaaS, and then. Um, it also um, explained the differences, right? 
if SAS usually is like um, another tool and it does just just experiment code um, without running, right? But I ask do both do um, 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 access code and um, um, as it run application as well. Right? So there are and it it has an advantage over SAS because it has less fault positive and it does like cover um, quite a lot of many vulnerability and it, co it can cover some code and because of the tool is more advanced it, it could um, it, it, it is scalable so you can read more about it okay that's as next is pen test um, pen test is like an ethical hacking so you have to act like um, an act attacker and then uh, so that you can evaluate the security of the system and then identify security weaknesses. Um, so usually it's like a cyber attack, but you do in an, an authorized and simulated manner. Uh, so you have to be careful when you do pen test. You have to make sure that it runs on like um, um, an isolated um, a machine so that it doesn't affect any other machine. And usually um, in the pen test, there are a couple process. First, you have to identify the target system that you want to run, meaning uh, which software or web application do you want to do um, pen test. And then you have to pick a goal you know, to find maybe if, for example, you want to, um, now there are some like heartbeat, uh, heartbeat um, attack comes. So uh, the goal would be, I want to find out whether um, my, uh, my system um, is protected against this heartbeat attack or not, right? So you need to pick some goal. And then you look at um, um, available information about the system and stuff, and then you do the hacking. And then um, you report uh, whether you are able to, you know, uh, penetrate to the system or not. That's why it's called penetration testing, to see whether you can penetrate um, the, the firewalls or the uh, authentic uh, authentication authorization uh, mechanism that you place onto the system or not. If you can penetrate, then you know um, you can find vulnerability and you have to fix it. Um, so pen test um, can be white box, black box, gray box. So you 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 might need a code. Um, so you or you can do black box. You you can you know use any. Um, information that you have. <clears throat> um, actually, pen, pen test and DAS uh, um, is very, very similar because it does um, the scanning for vulnerability and it, it usually use the same type of tools to do automated vulnerability, um, vulnerability scan. But they are slightly different. Um, DAS is more like you can be done while you develop application just like any other you know testing by you know supplying various input test different stuff and then maybe run some tools to um, do scanning um, to see if there are any known um, vulnerabilities or not you know because um, because of it's a known vulnerability you can actually build tool to 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 test it for pen test um, um, the, the goal is different because you have to think and act like a hacker. So you do like actually hacking. Uh, hacking might, you might um, intercept the message sent to the web application and you can change um, the data and stuff like that. Act like a man in the middle and change stuff, right? And then, you know, see if you can hack into the system. Uh, so it's slightly different, but um, both can you utilize the same type of tools. Okay, so now we learn um, different type of um, um, security test. Uh, now we're going to look at some tools. So DAS and pen test use the, the, the same type of tool, which is the vulnerability scanning tools. There are many tools like um, the IBM has the app scan. Uh, now um, the HCL company acquired the app scan from IBM. So it's you new, know, it does scanning. So you can take a look at the um, app scan and see uh, what are 
the features that um, they offer which is like do a lot of scanning and it has it does like uh, it's not just just that it does SAS and IS as well so it's like a very um, comprehensive tool security tools and um, if you uh, uh, heard about Burp Suite um, I heard that um, Ajahn Supaporn said that um, earlier in the semester there are um, um, speakers that taught you guys how to play around with Burp Suite to do pen tests so that's um, you know this type of uh, this that, that's the tool another tools and um, another similar tool is called SAP um, this is by OWASP community it's very similar to Burp Suite um, and we are going to be um, doing um, this tool today so that it will not um, be the same as what you have already done. But when you do pen test, you have to make sure that you use this tool on application that you own or have permission to attack. You do not use this tool to attack some other application because you, you might uh, get arrested because it's um, it's illegal to, to do it. So so just make sure that you uh, use pen test for your own application. Um, in addition to um, DAS and pen test, SAS has some tool too. Um, again, AppScan can do SAS as well. And um, another tool called Kodasi. Um, if you take a look Kodasi here, um, this is not just security um, analysis, uh, so, uh, code analysis tool. It actually has a lot of um, tool to do code analysis to um, access whether your code has good quality or not. And it's, it, it's very nice because it gives you a grade, whether you are A, B, or C. So you can know that your um, code is um, has good quality or not. So um, this is uh, a lot of open source um, 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 application like Node.js, um, React, use some type of um, code analysis to make sure that their code has good quality as well. And then some of them use this Kodasi. So please take a look um, at it on your own. And um, for the security related, it has, it will um, like examine your code. For example, here it examine your code for cross-site um, scripting attack here. So it's pretty um, nice to, to, to try. And another tool is called um, Coverity. Coverity is by um, Synopsys. This is the company that I said um, is a security company. So it has some good tools. Um, again, um, we will not have time to go through all of the tools. So if you are interested, you can um, take a look. And for IS, again, there are um, 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 IBM or HCL app scan. And the seeker is by Simnosips as well. This is for IS. Um, this is newer. So, um, and it's integrated with like a DevOps pipeline. So um, this is um, pretty nice too as well. Uh, it earned a lot, quite a bit of awards. So this is a good tool to look at. Okay, so tools. And um, so today we're gonna be learning about um, the OWAP SAP. SAP stands for Set um, Attack Proxy. Um, it's an open source. Um, web app security scanner open test tool and um, this is one of the most active OWASP object um, it is like a proxy so it, it acts like a man in the middle so it can um, it stand between um, browser and web application and then intercept and inspect message that's sent between browser and the app and it can even modify the content and then forward to the destination. So it's pretty um, quite neat to, to play around with and it does like the, the scan, the scanning. Um, and then you can, you know, um, change the 
the, the message. Uh, so before going to learn um, the tools, we're going to be looking at um, some testing guide and framework first just to know a bit about um, a resource that you can go um, and go through when you do when you do actual testing. So there are a lot of like guide and frameworks. Um, here I picked like four of them to show to show you what they are, but I'm not going um, through them um, except the OWAPs. So let's take a look at the first one. It's open source security testing method manual. So here you can go take a look at here. So it has, so this is like um, 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 some organization that um, focus on security and, and it does some um, the security testing manual here I already post because it's, it might take a while to download I already post it um, in here for you this is the OSSTMM so if you um, take a look it might take a while as well so I'm just gonna take a look at oh, here. So here is the um, the document. So if you go to the um, table of content, you're gonna see that it's like a framework that help you do the testing, not not just the actual test, but like the psychological behind testing as well. Like um, what do we need to know um, before you test, like the security um, um, information and stuff like that. And then um, it tells you what to do um you know uh and then like defining security tests how do you engage how do you do error handling and then security analysis um and the met the various metric to help you access the security and then the concept of trust um the workflow and then the, the actual testing how do you testing how do you do tests and stuff like that so um, quite a bit of um, document to go through but um, um, it's, it will give you uh, a very good information about like security testing next um, it's gonna be uh, penetration testing execution standard or P P test. here let's take a look um, this is like a guideline um, it actually has um, a lot of um, steps that you have to do like first you have to do intelligent gathering and it tells you like how to how to how do you gather information and then um, second then you do vulnerability analysis how do you do vulnerability analysis that they talk about some tools and then um, the, the scanner the IBM um, app scan and then um, how do you do um, um, exploit ex exploitation there's a lot of information here that is very very good and re reporting so this is like a step that you have to do in the pen test and for each step it tells you you know how to do testing so it's very very useful um, um, document for you to go through and next is NIST. So NIST is an organization in the United States. It has a lot of documents that help you do like um, um, security testing. Um, so you can, you know, um, uh, download the, the, the documentation here. So um, please go through it. Uh, and then last is going to be testing guide by OWAPS. I'm going to go through this document um, a little. So this is the testing guide for the web. Uh, actually, the OWAPS testing guide 
has the two two guide one for web and one for mo mobile um, testing so um, if let's go to look at the web testing guide uh, so um, the testing guide is um, right here you can look at the latest or you can look at like the, the stable version um, here I, I go to the stable version it has like um, like introduction like the OWAP testing what they are and then um, the thread modeling the source code review how to do pen test and stuff like that and it has the um, testing framework you have to do like security testing you have to start um, at the beginning and then it tells you like what to do during different phase of um, the development how to do like security testing and then for the web application testing it actually tells you what to do like if you want to gather information about the the the, the, um, the system like if you want to know whether to to hack to do hacking if you want to know um the version of the web server you can go to like the fingerprint web server it tell you that if you if you want to identify type and version of web server what to do yeah how to test so it tell you to um um, get the tools and then you can um, call a command to um, do this type and for example if you do like ping or something like that right you might get or uh, if you do like a get request the for different headers different header give you uh, it tells you like uh, what type of the server they are like this is Unix right um, the header here said is engine X um this one is light tpd right even for those that doesn't explicitly say the server um the order of um the attribute like the the date content status it can change it can um has different order then you can um you you, you can actually gather information about the um the, the server whether um, they use Unix Linux or you know um, engine X so OWAPs again very similar to other framework um, teach you how to um, do um, pen test or like ethical hacking by looking at like this various type of um, testing so um, I'm not gonna go through all of it but um, uh, at least you know where they are if you want to test particular stuff like how do you bypass authentication schema you can you know go you, you know where to look so this is like um, the um, web security testing guide uh, so this is very, very nice in HTML format I also give you the um, web testing guide in the PDF format um, I'm not sure which one you like better. So if you go to WSTG, so this is the um, web security testing guide, and it's gonna be the same um, material as in the as in the in in, in the, the the web here, but in the um, PDF format. Like for me, I I like the PDF format better, so I can. Um, read through my um, 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 handheld device better so it, it depends on what you like so I give you um, both information and you can actually download it from here let me see it has like a github version you can take a look at like the here it um, here it has oh, let, let me take a look that's a github repository and there are document I think and uh, oh what is kind of difficult to go through I actually download it from from this site but I can't I don't remember where I, I got it but I that, that, that's why 
That's why I already I'll give it to you here because I'm not sure if I can find it again. So here is the, the PDF is is right here. And um, in addition to um, the the guide, it has like a checklist. So let's take a look at the checklist here. Uh, let, let me open my um, local one. Um, Here, um, the W checklist here that I gave you. If you if you go take a look, it actually like a checklist um, that come from um, the the testing guide and um, here it tell you like for information gathering like how how do you do and whether you have started or not. So if you take a look, you can actually. Uh, if you use window this should work correctly it should, it should give you tell you whether the state if you have done it or not and um so it's pretty uh actually this is like a good summarization of the uh, web testing guide so you can take a look at get this just to summarize um different type of testing and then uh, the objective and how to do it so it's it's pretty nice information and there are like finding and then um, the assessment calculator with like um, some score and stuff like that too. So it's pretty um, neat. And actually, I this is version um, 4.2. Um, I give you the 4.1 version as well because in 4.1, um, it actually gives you a list of tools. I'm not sure why they take it out from the... Um, the word the 4.2 version because this is quite neat um, it tell you that to do like um, to do testing like information gathering uh, configuration management what type of tool can you use like you can use like Google hacking when you get curl uh, burp um, or sap and stuff like that so it's pretty um, good information so I give you like um, both type of the um, oh here this is it this work so for each of the test you can um, specify whether it's passed or it has issue or it's not applicable to to web application so the checklist is um, um, good um, resource for you to do testing and um, in addition to the web series, there are also mobile security testing as well. Here, um, this is the, the link and you can um, download the, um, the, the testing guide and I already um, download it for you here, the testing guide right here. And um, let me show you what they are. Um, this is very comprehensive um document that teach you how to do mobile testing as well so it's pretty nice uh, for example in like the end uh, in it it actually give you the testing guide both for android and ios for example if you want to um, test like data storage on android and you click on it, it it tells you that you want to test local storage for sensitive data how do you do it right it tells you uh, you have to check the chair preference, check the SQL light, check um, the internal external storage and it can actually give you some code as well uh, with some ex some some bad example uh, so bad and good example so you can um, go through this and then uh, improve your security by going through all this security guide. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it because it's going to be a bit boring, but um, you can take a look at the um, table of content um, when you do like Android development and see uh, for each type, uh, whenever you do, ex for example, you want, whenever you are um, working on the data storage, you can you know just take a look at um, this section um, there are like five or six page, so it's not overwhelming when you when do the testing. So this is a very, very good reference as well. Again, in addition to 
um, the testing guide it actually has the checklist so mobile application security has a checklist as well so let's take a look at this checklist uh, so it's the checklist is very similar to um, the the web version so here it has like the um, but 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 this one it actually uh, going testing by looking at the security requirement so for each security requirement um, it actually has like the ID and then it tell you which level and um, here at the very end of the checklist if you click on it it actually tell you how to test for example, you want to test like local storage for sensitive data. If you click on this, it's going to take you to the data on the website, how to test. So um, this um, Excel file is very, very um, good resource to do testing. And it has like security requirement for um, um, various, this is like um, for reverse engineering. This is for security requirement for iOS. Right. This is reward engineering in, in terms of iOS, so it's very, very good um, resources. Okay. So OWAP's testing guide um, is very um, useful for you to go through. So we've gone to that. Um, next, we're going to do like lab. Um, we will talk about lab in the next video.